to UT Chattanooga and now is the head man here at NC State. The Wolfpack are number two in the country. Defeated at home. Wolfpack trying to finish a perfect home season for the first time since 1978. Elisa Kanan gets us started. ACC Player of the Week gets stuff. Dayla Everett has to shoot it today. She's their top option for sure. Anymore with Deshanette Harris out and Gabby Green, she will have to be active, and it needs to be often for Pitt. Well, they're going to need her to take 50 to 15 to 20 field goal attempts in the game. In the country, which is something they're certainly aiming for as we move toward March. A nice shot there by Sandrine Pleska, the freshman from Quebec. Who then they ended up beating, they would have, in fact, been that number one team, but they'd rather be number one in March. That's when it counts in Marina Perez. Rude awakening after it's been in the 60s and 70s the past couple of days in North Carolina to head up to Central New York. Oh, goodness. Kayla Jones dials deep. More talked about his deep, her defense on Stephanie Watts in Carolina, Gina Connie at Wake. Marina Perez from downtown. The third three. And going against veteran guards like Marina Perez and Kai Crutchfield. Expectation too. You know Dacia Harris is out, and Jakia Brown Turner is firing from long range. Jones unable to catch the pass cleanly, but keeps possession alive. Sets up Brown Turner, making Crutchfield from downtown. Happy with the group currently that he's got, that has been incredibly efficient. Nifty move by Everett, and then he Ibakwe on the offensive glass pays it off. Not a real deep area in the post for Westmore and the Wolfpack. Perez tries from the corner and drains another. Nine points for Perez, all from beyond the arc. And that ball fortuitously finds Brown with a pass to the bucket. Undersized player that can play in that three and four position. A very athletic guard for Lance. Wolfpack just on fire right now, sizzling from three. From every coach that plays against him. Absolutely. Brown Turner, nice move off the dribble, scoops it in off the glass for the left hand. With the left, I mean, that was not being able to put a body on the offensive team and giving them extra opportunities that turn into buckets. And Fleska, great drive and finish. Here is Crutchfield for three. And that's just unacceptable right there. Go to Kanan a lot early. Haven't used her much lately, but she'll have free throws after the break. Over help when you've got shooters on the perimeter. Struther able to answer. When she gets hot, she can really get hot. That much harder because they feel like they could be that number one seed. So just give them the extra edge coming into Greensboro. Alisa Kanan. No problem there. Been both for them and for other teams. They've not been playing at home. And King wide open inside. NC State goes for the steal. He's going for those rebounds and the hustle plays. I just love her game. Quick first step from Amy Hayford. The Dutch sophomore gets two. Pittsburgh team, seven players from outside of the United States. Benane steps out, buries a three. The ninth of the half for the pack. I'm sure they're happy about this, and they'll take it. Six different players have hit a three so far, and well, oh, they made it two. That's the biggest news yet. <laughs> Just a couple of games, and NC State's return from their long pause. There's three for Pittsburgh. Hayford gets the driving bucket. Brown Turner sets up Jones beautifully, and Kayla sticks the three. That's the way you want to come out of a timeout. The team chanting from the sideline as the clock went down. They want that shot with low numbers on the shot clock. Jakia Brown-Turner finds space inside the paint. One more bucket away from going into double figures for the 17th time this year in 18 games. There's Everett for two. <laughs> and you see her. Crutchfield to, to be that person that will guard the other team's best player. Yeah, I mean, you know, you think about like a Mikasa Robinson for Louisville, and, and that's a big three again where she was putting out big numbers and <laughs> Crutchfield just made it difficult for her. That's what you love. And Jakia Brown Turner, yet another three. 18 to three so far here in the third. And the 
lead will grow here. Crutchfield, the steal through the traffic herself. She banked it in. Arrived. The NC State Wolfpack have got 97 and 21. I mean, she's been everywhere. Well credentialed Georgia Tech <laughs> leader Nell Fortner. A great pass. Kanane hits Boyd for the easy bucket. 17-3 in the third, make it 20-3 since halftime, and Kayla Jones. Honestly, a totally different player, mentally, physically, everything. Perez steps inside the arc, knocks it down. Kayla Jones, you heard her say that in her story. You know, people were talking about UNC and Duke in the state of North Carolina. Nobody was talking about NC State. She said, sitting out gave me an edge. Destiny Struther knocks in a three. That's good to see. Here's Kai Crutchfield with the clock winding down. Here's Wagner, and she knocks down the three. Just her second of the season. Missed it, but a, another chance. And the Wolfpack cannot convert. Nice move to the basket by Kleska. Your basketball program and, and those moves by Kleska, some that we've seen by some other players, those have been special. There's the 15th three of the day for the Wolfpack. Five starters now in double figures for NC State. Nice finish there by Amber Brown. She's got seven. And Syracuse is one of those teams. You, you can watch them, and they can, uh, you know, they don't they don't hit shots, they don't execute, and then you see them on another day, and they're on fire. And it's always nice to be coached by people that know the game at that level. Camille Hobby, calm, cool, and collected. Dunnick went for the steal. Kleska handled it, dished it, and the three is good. Nicely done, Taisha Exenor. Everett kicks it. Kleska sticks it. It's a career high for Sandra Kleska. King didn't get the bounce, but great hustle on the glass. Leah to King. There's that former middle uh -huh. linebacker. Hokies in the ACC tournament. Yeah. And I think anybody that plays them is, is going to be a little nervous. There's the 16th three of the game, tying the school record. I mean, Westmore and staff must just be grinning ear to ear watching these young players. And Leah Two King showing us her grit inside. We need those kind of players who say, I don't need to score 20 points a game. I don't need. I, I want to do the little things to help my team win. That's what Robin did. Now Fortner's Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Wagner rejected. <laughs> Good block that time by King. Yesterday, or excuse me, now two days ago, and said, I'm excited, and they about fell <laughs> on the floor. Those words don't come out of his mouth very much. <laughs> the steal and the score. Dontavia Wagner. And they're going to let it tick away. Most three-pointers ever for the Wolfpack in an ACC game. Today against Pitt, they made 16 threes.